Okay, this is my attempt. I may or may not upload this to the internet. Okay, this is a Puma Pomerton 100 uh, boiler, I believe. Now, it stopped working. It's getting electric discharge here. You can see it's uh, burnt there. That's been pulled out of here. And I've taken, obviously, the cover off. Um, this is the... This is the uh, thermostat part of it, the switches. So you just take the screw out of here that fits there. So you pull that down. Now what I'm going to do now is just, uh, I have another one. So I've ordered £13. I believe that this is faulty, obviously, as electric discharge air. And uh, this is a, called a PCB. Now you can see it's identical in all particulars anyway so I'm hoping this will do the trick and it is the uh, one taken from the same boiler as this now what I'm going to do is I'm going to film myself this by the way power switched off you see that switch at the back there there's two switches one is red which is for the washing machine the one at the back there is for this make sure that's turned off so there's no electricity now what I'm going to do here is remove all the cables from the PCB, which is this circuit board here, a printed circuit board, that's what it means. A simple computer, I understand. And then I'm going to put in this new one, which is identical. Hopefully that will fix the boiler problem. And why, oh Jesus, why do people keep calling? Right, off we go again. The idea here of me filming this at the moment is just so I have a record of where the cables go when I put the new one in. What I'll have to do is move all these cables, then take the screws out of the circuit board, put the new one back in, plug the cables back in, same sockets, and hopefully that will fix the issue. So this one's already out of there, as you see. Now, a bunch from there. So that one comes out, that one comes out, okay so here we go from there, now this appears to be the main power supply, I don't know if that's right, okay, this one down here, now some of them appear to be quite stiff as they should be I suppose they've been untangled before so this one down here ok so that comes from there you see there's a couple left that one came off quite easy. And these. So quite simple, they all they look actually quite easy. So I'll go up there. That one goes up there. And that one there, it's okay. Just a few more left. think that's all of them. Now when I've seen boiler attendants um, fix this in the past, and this is now ooh, what are we talking about, 15 years old? Which is not old. I've had pe I had somebody try and tell me I needed to repair this after five years or replace it after five years. Absolute horseshit of course. Uh, but these, this has already been repaired at least or replaced at least once this thing I, I believe because I've watched them repair it now what you're supposed to do really is take out all the screws from here as you can see it's already slightly damaged I thought it can't be and I've never tried doing that so I'm gonna leave that as it is it's already slightly damaged underneath nothing that bothers the function so what I'm gonna do once that's done 
is simply remove the four screws. You, know, you can see one there, one there, and then in each same areas, top and bottom there. Then replace this circuit board, replacement, replace all the cables, and hopefully that fixes it. Um, once I've turned on the power and stuff like that. Again, it's only, um, well, when did I last have this repaired? Eight years? I'm just disappointed. I mean, this thing doesn't last longer than it does. Not sure if there's any other cables. Everything else appears to be hooked up. And that's the main issue, obviously. And I don't want to tangle anything else. It's definitely an electrical problem, not a gas problem, because the power supply died. And when I tried fiddling with these, I could see sparks at the back here, and you can see the charred area. It worked for a little while longer, and then one day it just simply packed up. I'm not sure if it's going to work again, but clearly there's something wrong, and it's probably the circuit board, hence I bought a new one. £13, that's certainly going to be much cheaper if it works than hiring any professional or semi-professional even handyman to do it for me. And if it works, I'll know that I can do it again in future. Because I have no particular intention of replacing this boiler until at the point that it dies completely. Which will be, you know, a gas problem rather than an electrical problem, I imagine. Okay, well that's everything. Uh, all the best to you all. If you ever want to see this.